So we're thinking here about IT and accessibility and in this screencast I'm going to show you how to use a facility in Windows 7 which we're currently running on all the machines at the college how to use the speech to text uh, facility within Windows 7 um, and it's particularly useful, well it's useful for anybody really, but it's particularly useful for any students or staff that maybe are dyslexic, have problems with spelling, uh, with writing if that's a problem, um, but it also can save you time if you're, you're somebody that needs to do a lot of, uh, write a lot of letters or write reports for example. We obviously speak faster than we can type, well most of us do, so it's quite handy to be able to just dictate and then to be able to see your speech converted to text on the screen. So I'm going to show you the how to do that now. And you'll find the Windows Speech Recognition um, tool in the Start menu. So if I go into Start menu, you'll see it here because I've been using it. But if you go into All Programs and then Accessibility uh, Accessories, Ease of Access, and you'll see the Windows Speech Recognition here. So if I just activate that, you can see that it comes up on my screen here and it's currently sleeping. I need to tell it to begin to listen in a moment. Now this appears on my screen because I've previously set up the wizard. So if you haven't done this on your computer, what you'll find is when you go through that process, so you click on Start and you click on all programs, accessories, etc, etc. It will then take you through a wizard which sets up your computer for, for recognizing your voice and you'll need to have some headphones with a microphone to do this. When you've gone through the setup wizard, which takes maybe one minute, You'll then be offered the opportunity to do an introductory tutorial, which will take you five to ten minutes. It's really worth doing because it gets you used to speaking to your computer. You can actually use your, your voice just to activate your whole computer to tell it to open programs, etc., etc. Um, but it's worth doing that five to ten minute tutorial just to get used to, to talking to your computer. And you're also shown how to dictate. So let's think here about how to use our voice and dictate our, um, dictate, dictate our text and have our speech recognized and converted into text on the screen. In my experience, the best programs to use are either WordPad or Notepad. So I'm just going to do a quick search for Notepad. And then you can see Notepad comes up on the screen. So here I have the speech, rec speech recognition activated up here. And I'm going to activate it. So I'm going to say start listening. Start listening. I am now dictating to the computer. Full stop. New line. You can see my speech on the screen. Exclamation mark. New line. If I don't know what to say, I can say, what can I say? And a reference card pops up to help me. So you can see here that when you say, what can I say, a reference card pops up and you can click on these links, etc. Um, and it, it will tell you what, what instructions you can use. But it's very, just say what you see, basically. So you can say, new line, new paragraph, delete that, undo, etc. So once you've dictated all your screen, oh, we're going to, this is going to appear on the screen now, I'm going to just get rid of that. With your text, you can copy and paste it into Word, for example. So that's text using speech recognition.